Russia developed a new dangerous weapon for its navy against Ukraine's drone threat. For Russian troops, the Morena 300 maritime attack drone has been developed, which can transport up to 250 kilograms of explosives over 250 kilometers. It is noted that Russia's military has developed a new explosive naval drone, according to a new report, as Moscow contends with Ukraine's persistent and often successful uncrewed waterborne vehicle attacks on its Black Sea fleet. The new Kamikaze uncrewed surface vehicle is equipped with an inertial navigation system. It is also known about the development of another drone, the Phaeton, which is designed to transport equipment. The Russian company Airberg from Yekaterinburg presented at the Heli Russia exhibition a promising transport and reconnaissance drone, Phaeton, which can take off vertically. The maximum flight time is five hours and the range is up to 500 kilometers. The system can carry weights up to 15 kilograms. It is reported that the development takes off vertically thanks to four upward pointing propellers from any convenient platform. The propeller is powered by a gasoline internal combustion engine and has a spacious fuel tank, noted Deputy Chief Designer Sergei Snigirev. The UAV can transport various equipment weighing up to 15 kilograms. A version of this drone without electronic warfare is used for cargo delivery. According to Snigirev, the system can be used to track communications and pipelines and for urgent delivery of goods to disaster areas. The military is also showing interest in a drone model with a long flight time and high range. The system is currently being tested and is planned to be put into mass production by the end of this year or the beginning of next year. The more than two years of war in Ukraine has spurred drone development in the air, on the ground and on water. Kiev and Moscow have invested heavily in their drone programs, with both sides battling it out to produce more and to innovate quicker. The new Kamikaze naval drones will be fitted with satellite navigation and an inertial navigation system, according to the report. Doubling up on navigation systems helps accuracy and reduces possible problems caused by jamming. Ukraine has become known for its water waterborne drone use, its USVs menacing Russia's Black Sea fleet partially based around Crimea as well as key infrastructure linking the peninsula with mainland Russia. Moscow has controlled Crimea for a decade and Kiev has vowed to reclaim it. Russia accelerates withdrawal from Crimea, families of servicemen museum exhibits are removed. The Department of the Occupation Administration of Crimea, responsible for historical artifacts and cultural sites on the peninsula, has ordered its subordinate institutions to prepare museum property for evacuation, Ukraine's National Resistance Center reported this. This is evidenced by a letter from the so-called Ministry of Culture of temporarily occupied Crimea to the heads of museum institutions. The Russians did not indicate the reasons and places for the alleged transportation of valuables. The National Resistance Center stressed that there had been a risk that the most valuable items would be transported from Crimea to Russia's internationally recognized territory. In particular, the document which was handed over to the National Resistance Center directly refers to the need to clarify the list of places of evacuation of valuables 
in the event of disasters or combat actions. It is important to note that according to Russian law, the list of such places should have been approved long ago, but the information is being requested to be clarified because of a new letter from the Russian Ministry of Culture. Museum administrations have been given until the 1st of July this year to respond. Another point in the letter states that at least some of the cultural and historical monuments will be taken outside the peninsula. The letter was not published by the National Resistance Center, even though they have it due to sensitive information. The Russians are trying to speed up the process of typification and evaluation of museum artifacts in Crimea. Museum workers are creating electronic registers of works of art and historical monuments and transferring information to the Russian Electronic Museum Fund. The letter was signed by Andriy Rostenko, the so-called Deputy Minister of Culture of Crimea. He is the former head of the occupation administration of the city of Yalta in Crimea. Earlier there was information about the start of the evacuation of military families from Crimea. Recently, Ukrainian military said it had destroyed three Russian surface-to-air missile systems in Russian-occupied Crimea. Analysts believe it's only a matter of time before Kyiv might attack another vital target in Crimea, the bridge linking the occupied peninsula to the Russian mainland.